Okay, I'm going to take a gram of magnesium and add it to 50 millers, milliliters of one molar hydrochloric acid. I'm going to do this at 760 degrees tor, 760 tor and 298 degrees Kelvin. And I'm going to ask myself what volume of gas is produced, okay? So, my equation is the magnesium as a solid reacts with the HCl. This is a single displacement reaction. The magnesium displaces the hydrogen in the acid and it forms pure hydrogen, which we know is a gas at these conditions, plus magnesium chloride. Now, I need to ask myself, what am I given? And I also need to balance the equation. I only have one hydrogen on this side, so I'll need a two here. And now I have a balanced equation. Now, this is an important um, exercise because I have my reactants as a solid, as a solute in a solution, and I've produced a gas. So, I'm given the mass, which is equal to 1.00 grams, and I need to calculate the mole. So I need to look up its formula weight, which I can get off the periodic table, and it's 24.3 grams per mole. Now HCl is a solute, so I need its volume and its concentration. So I need the molarity and the volume. And the molarity is equal to um, 1.00 molar, moles per liter. And the volume is um, 50 mils is 0.0 five liters. Um, it should have three sig figs, but I'm going to keep the chalkboard clear. Now remember that we, for a gas we need an equation of state, and the equation of state that we're going to use is PV equals NRT, and we're solving for V, which is NRT over P. So I need to know the number of moles of gas, I need to know the temperature, and I need to know the pressure. Okay? Now I've got the temperature here, 298 Kelvin. I have the pressure here, 760 Tor. Since we're going to use 8.08206 um, liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin, I'm just going to call this one atmosphere, recognize that it has three sig figs, because there's a dot here. Okay? So I have to figure out what is my limiting reagent. From the complete consumption of the limiting reagent, I can calculate my moles hydrogen, and then I can place my moles hydrogen into my equation of state and determine the um, volume of gas produced. So I take my mass, divide by the molar mass, the grams divided by the grams per mole, and this gives me um, N equals 0 0.04115 moles. Now I take my molarity, moles per liter, multiply by the volume in liters, and this gives me N equals 0.05 moles. Okay? Now, I do my stoichiometric coefficient step. I divide this by 1, and then I would multiply by the coefficient of this. I would divide this by 2, and multiply the, by the coefficient of this. So, we divide by the coefficient to identify the limiting reagent. This divided by 1 is equal to 0.04115. This divided by 2, though, is equal to 0 0.05. 2, 5. Okay? So now I know that this is the limiting reagent. So I take the 0 0.025, multiply by the coefficient of the hydrogen, and I get 0 0.025. Now I can plug this into my equation of state, and I have V is equal to 0 0.025 times 0 0.08206 liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin. You should use your units, but I'm going to run out of space, times my temperature, which is 298 Kelvin, divided by my pressure, which is one atmosphere, and I now come up with 0 0.6113 liters, which is better reported as 611 milliliters, okay? And if you didn't follow this step here, what I did was, as I said, that I had my one mole of HCl per liter, my molarity, multiply by the volume, 0.05 liters, and this gives you my moles 
um, 1 times 0.05 is 0.05 moles. Then I had my stoichiometric step. I divided by 2 moles of HCl for every 1 mole of H2. And that gave me the moles H2. Okay? And from there I could go forward. Remember that if you, that the whole strategy, if you have a limiting reagent, is calculate the moles of your reactants, divide by the coefficient, the smallest number is the limiting reagent. Thank you.